All right, match one, old school prowess. Um, well, no creatures. That was literally the selling point for going with this version, but, uh, you know, so it goes. Um, without a prowess creatures, Lava Dart's the most likely to be to be not uh, not the best here. All right, and of course our high artificer opponent here is probably um, is probably playing some type of Urza deck. Urza, of course, a very cool character. Um, it has a lot of lands, but it's definitely it definitely takes quite a while for Shatter Skull Smashing to to actually um, kill anything. So might as well get into play tap now. All right, that's eating a firebolt. Uh, odd that they uh, chose Pith and Needle. Well, we're seeing a lot of land. That's definitely not ideal. Ooh, hopefully we see a, um, a flame slash. Not a flame slash. Uh, well, let's see if they redirect. Actually, if they redirect, they basically just um, take two extra damage. Yeah. Or they take one extra damage, rather. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, at least in theory, we can play them both. Um, we can get full value out of Abbott, even, if we, uh, if we hit a land. And land is not exactly what we, what, you know, what we want, but... Uh... Uh, they have sort of the meek in the graveyard. That's not good. Maybe somehow we can overpower this. I don't know. Well, there's a land. Obviously, they're just going to redirect. I mean, we do have the answers to these things, just need to actually draw them. Alright, let's get more Abbott. Well, at least we can finally deal with the, um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to Lava Dart, and we're going to play a land and finally deal with the, uh, Emery. <laughs> I can quad block. If so, so be it. Alright. And that's good, because... I, I, how did they not see this? I, I don't know. I guess I got a counterspell or something. It's not enough to kill the creature. Seems like they should have blocked with one more, but hey, what can you do? Now the hope is, is that these abbots just, uh, Go crazy enough. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think we can quite attack with them yet. Let's set up for a bigger turn next turn. You know what? Let's. Let's just, uh, 
We're not going to win on time on this game. And, uh... Yeah, let's play Ratchet Bomb, too. Could there be some consideration for Relic? I don't know. Hard to say. We do want Flame Slash. It's very good against Urza. Very good against, uh... Very good against, um... Spellskite. Lava Dart seems like the weakest link. Actually, maybe Ratchet Bomb isn't isn't at its best either. I mean, it can clear the creatures away, but uh, I can't I can't imagine going without any of these other cards. They're all so essential for either dealing with their early creatures or dealing with the artifact. We're for going Blood Moon. It could be a mistake, but man, can't keep it. Just just two mana light. All right. Well, this one's a little less mana light. Let's, uh... Um... Yeah, let's put this to the bottom. I'm trying to go for the early rushdown. Okay. Man, it feels exhilarating to try out the Abbott version again. It can potentially lead to very quick kills, while also having extreme grind potential. Abbott, just a very underrated card. I think it should have been a mainstay in uh, in traditional um, Mono Red Prowess, too. You know? I, I really do. Call me crazy, but like I think it's better than Kiln Fiend. I think it's better than Kiln Fiend. I think it's better than, um, than Runaway Steamkin. I think it's the uh, real deal, obviously. Uh, feed the swarm. Okay. All right. You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna play play the giant. Playing the giant, you always, you always feel bad about missing out on stomp if you play the giant from your hand. But when it's gonna disappear next turn anyway, I, I say might as well just uh, just set up for the best next turn possible. All right, well, we've got plenty of answers to that. All right, so I think here's what we're going to do. We're going to Lightning Bolt them. We're going to light up the stage. <clears throat> Hopefully we draw mana. All right, that works for us. So we can just kill it with this. And bring it on a two. And I think that puts us in a pretty good spot. Yeah, I just stomp. Man, is it just me also? It feels like the uh, program's running smoother without the companion. I wonder if the companion, like, adds an extra layer of coding, pro you know, complexity or something. <sighs> uh, I can't really see myself turning that away. Would have liked more creatures, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. And this isn't exactly the fastest uh, start to the opponent either. All right, a braid is a very welcome card to see. Let's, uh... All right, and th this is eating a uh, flame slash for sure. And just just in case they've got some kind of mutagenic growth shenanigans. Unlikely, but we're, we're going to play Soul Scar anyway, so... All right, hand definitely improved quite a bit since we kept. Doesn't mean we're guaranteed to win, but it does help. All right, well, it got demoted a bit, but, you know, so be it. Uh, well, it's just improved again. <laughs> uh, alrighty. Um, I don't want to use... We also, we also uh, get more damage by waiting on the triggers. <clears throat> Uh, 
Feed the swarm. Okay. Well, taking a lot of damage dealing with our creatures. Uh, I think I'm going to play Shatterstorm. Smashing. Yeah. If we keep drawing lands, obviously that's going to be bad, but, you know. But this is just a very good opportunity to play it. And help is to overwhelm the opponent. Uh, I'm sure if that was on purpose or not, or they meant to put that on one. Well, there's more land. Um... Yeah, let's still wait on playing it. In Snaring Bridge, we can uh, braid. If we would have firebolted, we would have won right there. But you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. All right. Well, now firebolt just wins automatically. Nice.